Okay guys, so today we'll be playing a little bit of Vampires. And I decided that I wanted to build a deck using Edgar Charm Groom, one of my favorite cards that doesn't really see a lot of play. And also Markov Baron. So we have two Vampire Lords in Standard right now, both of which are not seeing any play. And I wanted to try it in Black White. I think Black Red is the, is the usual go-to for Vampire decks, but... I think we might have enough vampire stuff here to make this work. I think the big thing holding this deck back is probably the lack of good quality one drops if you're playing like a curve out aggro deck. And I think having a one drop is really important if you're going to play the Markov Baron to be able to convoke into it. This is a three mana two two convoke lifelink gives your other vampires plus one plus one and it has madness so uh, you can pay its madness cost if you discard this card discard it into exile when you do cast it for its madness cost uh, or put it into your graveyard so I think it's important to curve out to, to be able to take advantage of the convoke in this deck so we're going to try out Icord, Icord Drinker uh, one mana one one lifelink not the strongest card but it has a one black mana exile it from your graveyard to incubate two only as a sorcery so you get a bit of value if it dies afterwards but the big thing is is that it's a one one lifelinker that will hopefully get bigger from the other lords and then gain us some life uh, and just be an early an early game play to convoke with beyond that we're playing three ba bartolome del Pre presidio two mana two one sacrifice an artifact or creature put a plus one counter on him just a two drop vampire in black white honestly uh, but in the later game though we do have a vein ripper in the deck which whenever a creature dies you lose two or you gain two and they lose two so if we have that in play with a bunch of our tokens in play, at the, we can kind of just drop this and sack our board and win. We're pl trying out Slaughter Specialist. This is a card that um, I've always liked, but it just never seems that great. Uh, two mana, three, three. You give your opponent a one, one token. And then whenever a creature in opponent controls dies, you put a plus one counter on this thing. So in certain matchups, I think this thing could be really good um, if they end up just chump blocking with the one, one you give them. And this thing, this two drop just, I mean, it's a three, three for two to start with, and then it can keep growing. Uh, I think it's important to have good removal in this deck as well. So get lost times four, virtue persistence times four as well. And then as far as other vampires go, we have the evangelist, the baron, of course, and then preacher of this of the schism, which is another big reason to be playing vampires as well. So uh, that's the deck. Black white lands, of course. We get the cavernous souls to make our vampires unblockable, our uncounterable. Sorry. In the sideboard, we have duresses. We have Shrouded Shepherd. This is a card that I would bring in against, it's not a vampire, unfortunately, but against any, like, you know, token deck or go wide deck or, you know, the toxic decks that play all the 1-1 one, one toxic guys. Give your opponent's creatures minus one, minus one. It does also work with the Slaughter Specialist. Like, you give them the 1-1 one, one token and then this kills it. But I think I would need my opponent to have more than one, one, one to make it worth bringing that in. But it's a sideboard option. Uh, we have some Kayas in here against uh, control decks and stuff like that. Deep Cavern Bats. It's tempting. To, it's not a vampire. It's tempting. It's so good, though. I kind of want to put it in the main deck, but we're going to just put it in the sideboard, go for the vampire game plan in the main board, and then bring these in against decks uh, where we want to eat our opponent's hand. And then Lorna, the third path for, for artifact and enchantment removal, of course. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'm not sure how this will play out, but we'll give it a shot. This is a black white vampires. Okay. Shinya against our black white vampire deck on the play. We'll give this a shot. We uh, we have our colors we need here. No two drop, unfortunately. We we can kill something, but there's a two drop there. Let's put down the slaughter specialist. They get a one one. Uh, we do need to draw land really bad. Deep cavern bat. So they probably take this, but we can convoke the baron if we need to as well. Ignore my green, my green screen, green mug. Okay. Um. So here, I think. Let's go. Evangelist. And let's, convoke. We'll go for a big turn here, and then, um, next turn hopefully, we can, go hard. And attack. So opponent sends the bat and we take that and that's all they're doing uh okay let's uh hold off here let's go to combat and attack all get our battle cry they're gonna kill our baron obviously that's okay 
Still get in for a bunch. So they're going to block there. Um, so I'm tempted to... I could kill the bat and get back my thing, but I think, I think just playing the preacher is probably better. So creatures die. Our guy gets pumped. We get our bat. Let's put out the preacher, and we'll hang on to our get lost for for next turn. Pretty far away from playing the Vein Ripper, unfortunately, but that's okay, though. Opponent does nothing. So, another Baron. Um, so, I might tap the two bats to play this, and then use one mana, and then have the get lost mana. Let's do it. Let's go one, two, three, and play the Baron. And keep the get lost open. We'll see if they want to block first. I don't think they're going to, but... So kill the preacher. Yep. That pumps. Okay, swing for five. They do block it, so we get back our spell and we get uh, a pump on our specialist. Yeah, six six for two mana. Like not too not bad. We can kill whatever they play here now. So cut down. Yep. It's a lot of removal. Oh my god. Um so they're gonna kill our specialist, unfortunately. I'm almost tempted to kill it with this just so that I can have the maps. But we still have another one backed up. They did choose non-token right yeah let's do it let's get the maps so we will land another specialist let's go for something bigger i want like a, a edgar or something like that all right let's uh, start digging through our deck here drinker not strong enough uh we do get the ability now which is nice um Let's spread these maps out here. Baron. If I had more vampires in play, I'd probably keep that, but let's let's look again for something bigger. Um, I guess we may as well do this. And attack. All right, so that has to die right away. And then let's uh, activate this. And attack. Down to six. We have our man lands here, so th they need to put a flyer out. Yeah, so we just attack with this and then the man land, and that should be game. So we'll sack this one. Can play our vein drinker but there's no need to okay so mono black um so they're playing the bats and i don't think they're really pumping them up so i might bring this in the question is is it good against anything else in the deck or is it just that maybe i won't get let's let's wait and see um do I even bring in the bats right now is the question. They're playing so much spot removal. Look, I'm going to leave the deck as is for one more game here. And then we'll see how it goes. And we'll sideboard depending on what we lose to. Alright. Shinya. Game two. Um, Five lands... I will creature in a removal spell. This is kind of a removal spell. Well, not really based on my land here, but 
We're on the draw. Let's let's keep it. Okay, uh, let's go v v v vampire. Is there a bat? No. Um, let's put down our creature that will probably eat a removal spell. Yep. So I'm going to play like a Gix here or something like that. Underdog. Um, so we're drawing land, which is the worst possible uh, situation here. I think I will probably just virtue this right now. Like if they want to spend their next turn spending four mana to bring that back, hit us for three and draw a card, then that's not the worst thing, I guess. Oh, God. All right, all land now. Another underdog. Okay, our worst card. Excellent. Uh, let's go like this and like this. Honestly, it might have been better just to like not play this and tack a Numa and to try to find something. I don't really want to spend my... Uh... Let's just take it. We can attack back for for one here. There's the shield rid. Okay. Draw. Another land. All right, let's play. Um, nah, I was gonna say we'll attack, but and then try to. I, he sees we have this right, so there's no point. We'll just hold it back. So if he attacks, we can do this and that. If he doesn't attack with it, we can attack a Numa and so Gix. So he's going to want to attack now to get... Alright. So we'll do that. Let's kill the Shieldred. If he has cut down, then we just... No, we're good. Yeah, they draw a card. Another land. We need like the vein ripper or whatever it's called. Let's uh let's attack a Numa here. Hmm. So many good creatures. We have like the Edgars we could be getting. Like there's so many things that we could. Uh, let's get this out. Let's do this. <clears throat> That's a lot. Yeah, so I think we're, yeah, we're just dead. They're gonna, okay. Keeping the five lander, I guess, was the mistake there, but um, I'm going to, all right, let's bring in the bats. Let's reduce the, uh, these and this. And see what happens here. Game three, Shinya. Play first. Um, that's kind of rough because we can't actually play these. We can play this and this though. But if they turn to bat and take our virtue, we literally let's mulligan. Uh, it's very slow, but. Let's try it. Hopefully they duress us and get nothing. Um, so land this thing. So next turn we can, if we don't draw land, we can drink her into Baron. If they don't uh, choose a non-land card. 
actually okay with that. Um, so let's go vampire. Um, let's go here. Let's go. I don't want to tap. I want to tap this one. Is it gonna automatically do it, or do I get to? Yeah. So like that, and then attack. And then if we can draw a land here and play this, then that's a pretty good start. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, it was almost a very good uh, curve out there. But we got board wiped instead. So let's see how far this Edgar can... This is where Edgar is bad, because they play a Shieldred, and then this is why Edgar doesn't... Oh, well, maybe not. This is why I think Edgar doesn't see much play, because Shield, as a 4-4, four, four, it just gets outclassed by... Okay, so that goes... Luckily, we get this stuff from it. Of course, we draw a land. Uh, let's get in with this. Yep. Now we need to draw good spells. So there's a Gix. We're going to chump block that. Can't have him drawing more cards. So I'll make a 1-1. One, one. I think I'm going to kill this right now. Maybe I wait. Let's wait. We won't let him use the maps before combat. If he was playing blue and had counter spells, maybe I'd be more inclined to do that while he's tapped out, but. Okay. So opponent attacks. So we'll kill the Gix before they can. Now, I have a lot of life here. I'm actually gonna take this because this is gonna flip and pump our guy into a 2-2 lifelinker. We have lots of life, so I'm not as concerned. Okay, suddenly we have a decent board here. Uh, let's go to combat. Gain our two life, and just hold back the get lost. Discover four. Cool. Cut down. Yeah, you can kill one of my... Doesn't kill the one that can block. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Uh, Edgar proved to be pretty good there, actually. Um, it looked like that board wipe was going to be the end for us, but then Edgar... Um, the value of Edgar came in and got him, so sweet. All right, little 48 MGT against black white vampires. Um, triple evangelist. We're gonna try it. I don't know why. Probably should have mulliganed this, but <clears throat> we're doing nothing for three turns. Uh, let's... So do I, do I want to have the mana available for the get lost, or do I want to... Surveil. Let's surveil. Sure. I mean, that might be bad. If they're playing, like, blue-white control, that's probably a dead card, but... Which I think they might be, so I probably shouldn't have taken that, but... Let's see. Uh, let's start the Evangelist train. Really wish I had a Cavern of Souls right now, but... Yep.
well. Vampire. Let's do it. Yeah, keeping the virtue was definitely a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to kill our cavern. Mm-hmm. All right, we landed a creature. That's the important thing. <clears throat> so we just need them to not have a bunch of sunfalls and things like that. Okay. Will they play an enchantment or a creature is the real question. More man lands. Um, we have one already. I want to. I'm gonna play this because I want to be able to play. Let's go to combat first. Let's see what they do to this. Emperor. Do they exile? They do. So let's kill the um, planeswalker. And then main phase two, we can play our other evangelist and probably eat a sunfall. Nothing yet. Uh, okay, that might be something. Um, Let's go, Manland. Yes, it does. If he kills it, we do lose our ability to play the Vein Ripper next turn, but that's okay. I'm feeling another Wandering Emperor coming down. March. One mana. Kill my Manland. Is harsh. So, Battle Cry. Memory Deluge. I don't have a lot of hope <laughs> for this match, I'm not going to lie. So next turn we're going to play another Restless Fortress. It'll be tapped, obviously. Destroy my guys, yep. Doesn't exile, so we get our 1-1 flyer. And we draw another card we can't use. Alright, let's get in there with this. Four. And then we'll see if they tap out here so we can Vein Ripper. The question is, do I even bother? Like, there's no way they're not going to counter this stuff, right? Let's do this and then play our one drop. Maybe another um, Wandering Emperor is going to gobble up our land. Okay, they're still looking. They go to eight, go to six. Let's play it out. Deduce. There's so many cards in hand now, and so much mana that, like, there's no way they can't recover from this, but. Board wipe. See, I really wish I had another cavern here because I'm gonna. They definitely have the two mana counter spell, right? Maybe I just do this then. Put 
Put him to three. Do this. Jace. Okay. Mill. Are they like are they relying on counter spells here or do they have like I'm pretty sure I just have to go for this. It's the only chance I have. They don't have Wandering Emperor mana. Another march, maybe. So activate. Oh no, it's Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do the 2-2. Two -two. I should have known by the two counters on it. That was such a stupid thing to do. I meant to do that and attack for two. Put him to one. Ugh. Mill. Manland. Okay, so the two life happens, and then they gain it back. Yeah. I feel like we're not. They go to three. And I don't think I have the, yeah. Nope. All right, so we want duresses. We want bats. We want planeswalkers. And I don't think I want that necessarily. Um, these are probably too slow. Take those out for the bats again. Um, Edgar, they're they're playing exile stuff, so we'll reduce those by a bit. And then I don't think we want the virtues. Uh, put one. Uh, we'll do three Edgars. It's still a it's still a lord, right? It still pumps our team, our board. So, all right, let's try again. Uh, let's try this. So, Fortress. Swamp. Uh, let's... Let's go Preacher. And probably get no more lies. Okay. So another land would be good here. It's a tap land. Um, are they going to counter again? Well, let's see. Okay. Board wipes are one creature. Uh, all right, let's go vampire. Let's go specialist. Let's go baron. We really needed like the bats and stuff like that to take their hand and duresses, but another board wipe. It's pretty good. So land would be good off the top here. We can play our thing here. Okay, vampire, yes. Uh, so we're probably gonna eat a um, wandering emperor here, unfortunately. Yep. Yep. So 
So let's go Bane Ripper. We do have some card draw here, which is nice. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go bat. Kill one of our caverns. Sure. Actually, I should have tapped that for a colorless mana to draw cards with. I don't know why I tapped that for a black vampire mana that I can't spend. That was dumb. Um... What do we got? So I have like the three mana to pay, so I think this is probably. Like, I don't think the counter spell is that big of a deal at this point. Uh, let's kill the planeswalker. And then let's. We'll wait to draw in case I need to, for some reason, play the get loss, and then I can draw cards end of turn. So, okay, land. Uh, let's draw some cards. Uh huh. Nice. And okay. Planeswalker is very good. Uh, one, two, three, four. So they can counter the Planeswalker. Let's go to combat. And attack. If they make their main land, I'll kill it with the... Get lost. And I can pay the three for the... No more lies. So we'll pay that. Drain for two. And then uh, player one drop. So they need to draw, rip a, a board wipe here, which they very well could do. Okay, sweet. Okay, we got one. Um, I think that's probably good. Just the hand disruption stuff is probably what's going to hopefully get us there. Let's leave it as is. Game three, little 48 MGT. <clears throat> Black, white vampires against blue, white control. On the draw now, which is a pretty huge thing here. Uh, double bat is pretty good. With the caverns, I might end up naming bat here, depending on what their mana looks like. If they have like two mana available, I might have to just name bat, which is fine. Opponent mulligans, which is helpful. Uh, so let's go tap land to start. Planeswalker's really good here as well. Revelry drawing a card. Um, they're tapped out, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save the cavern. Let's, oh my god, yes! So the, the hand disruption stuff really made the difference there against the control deck, so... That's nice. Okay, Vaster Banter with black white vampires on the play. Let's keep that. Tap land to start. Uh, let's go with the specialist. Okay, uh, let's go, let's put the field out, let's go to combat, yikes, that is unfortunate, um, do I want to draw it again? No, I think I want to draw an, an Edgar instead. Let's play out him. Kind of awkward. Uh, 
No blocks. Okay. The question is, is it just going to get countered, though? Let's attack first and see if they will spend mana on that. I feel like there's no way this isn't getting countered. It dissipated or something. Okay. It lands. Bodyguard. Cool. So we can kill that. So it's like a blue-white flash deck, maybe? I thought it was going to be blue-white control. I'm sort of surprised to see the bodyguard here, but... So attacks... There's a cavern. Let's name Vampire. Let's go to combat. And then let's wait and see if we can get them to spend their mana before we kill the bodyguard. Oh god, it's it's only one mana though. Do they have a counter spell? Yeah, okay, cool. I'm fine with that. Do I want to sack this? Nah. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Opponent does nothing. That's excellent. Uh... Back street. Yeah, I'll keep that. It's better than drawing a land. Uh, let's go to combat first and attack. So, chump block. And let's throw this out. So the nice thing about having this is that if they have like a, I mean, they only have, they only have three mana, but if they had like a Sunfall, like an Exile All Creatures spell, I can sack the Edgar to this to put it, make it into the artifact, which is sweet. Opponent doing nothing. Uh, let's go for it. I don't know if overextending here is the right idea, if I should have just activated the main lane and attacked, but... That's okay. So resolute reinforcements. Well, now they can't double block this, so that's something. So block, block. So another wear fox. If they do the Edgar, I'm going to definitely sacrifice it. No, they do this. They they knew better. Um. Yeah, that's that's probably fine. I'm just gonna attack anyways. Land. All right, let's uh, get the main land going. And attack. They can just block here, I guess. Really, they're gonna give me back my guy. Okay. There's the land. So there's, they're playing a flash deck, so there's probably going to be a uh, Wandering Emperor coming now. Let's go man land. And attack. And they're going to have to exile the sacrifice guy, probably. So what do they do here? Or do they just make a 2-2 and block? Yeah. Okay. That's exiled, and then they take that.
I'm going to wait to play this. So if they do Sunfall here... Okay, make it 2-2. Two, two. So I might just win with the mainland. I don't know. Okay, sweet. Okay, so... Flash deck... Let's do some more hand disruption stuff. It seems it seems good. I don't know if I want the Kaya's or not. Let's wait. Um, let's go minus one Bane Ripper. Let's go minus. These are actually kind of good in this deck. In this because being able to sacrifice what they target. With the bodyguard and the planeswalker is kind of nice. Um, that kills stuff. Hmm. What do I want to take out here? Let's go minus two of those, and let's just go to let's just do three of these. Okay, Vaster Banter. Game two against Blue White Flash deck. That is a keepable hand. So we'll go back street first and then probably turn to cave or bat, sorry. Maybe not. Maybe I duress here. Sweet. And then we can bat and take their whale. Assuming they don't have a uh, counterspell. Did they just draw a counterspell? No way. No way. Okay. Um, Let's go back street. I think we have enough land for now, and then we'll play out our specialist here. Wow, main lane attack. Uh, sure, block. Yeah, I figured that was a mistake. And he left over it, okay. <laughs> Okay, well that was Black White Vampires, which was surprisingly good. I never ended up bring, bringing it. I played against some weird decks, obviously, so I didn't get to play against like the Boros Tokens decks and stuff like that, where I would have brought in the Shepherds and things like that. But I think there's enough synergy here amongst the Vampires to make this pretty good. Just between Edgar and the Baron and the Evangelist, there's a lot of like pump your board stuff going on. This thing I thought was okay. Again, I wish there was like, just like a 2-1 vampire for one mana would in, in black or white would be excellent. Another vampire that there is in white is the, I forget his name, but the two mana 2-2 two, two Vigilance. And whenever you put a plus one counter on him, you draw a card. It's a very good card, but I'm not playing any plus one counter stuff. So when I put that card in, I suddenly have to like put in a bunch of plus one counter spells to make that ability work and then it changes the whole deck where I'm more looking to make like just the vampire lords um, the thing so I think the deck's very good I would love it if they would print in like the next set like just one or two more good playable um, black or white vampires that we could put in here but the deep cavern bats are so good that I wish they were vampires but it's I almost wonder if having like the hand disruption in the main deck is worth it even though it's not a vampire but at that point it's like why not just play a regular black white aggro deck or, or or a mono black or something like that so um the main idea is i wanted to use these cards edgar was really good i think edgar is a very good card um i think as long as you have the main deck removal to kill opposing shieldreds so that you don't, you're not facing down the four five against your four four i think this card is is still very good so anyways um very cool deck liked it a lot any changes to the deck that you think that I'm missing in important cards that I should be playing, please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.